IHGN Studios. It's Braves Beat. <laughs> Last episode of Brave Speed for the 2022-2023 school year. I'm Nina Foad. And I'm Sarah Banatsky. And Sarah, how are you feeling now that the year's coming to an end? Really, really sad. I'm leaving this school in about 30 minutes. It's honestly heartbreaking. Okay, right, right, right. So there's a lot of news to cover, so let's just get on with it. The Indian quiz team from Ohio has had an impressive year with two major achievements in academic quiz competitions. The team qualified for the small school nationals in the National Academic Quiz Tournament and finished in 21st place, thanks to the strong play of Connor Kaufman, Jacob Ruby, and Ethan Brown. Additionally, they competed in the Ohio Academic Challenge and nearly missed qualifying for the state after placing third at regionals. Coach Missy Hardy praised the team's improvement and courage and expressed excitement for the potential in the future. The Indian Hill Boosters were thanked for their support and enhancing the team to participate in the national tournament. Sending it to Ella and Lexi. Hi Braves, I'm Lexi. Hi. Emily, would you please be quiet? Please, and while you're out, to fix your hair. <laughs> and I'm Ella. Let's get into some news. Braves V played Cupid this week and helped with a prom proposal. Let's see how that worked out. Hey guys, so I'm going to be helping Sarah back with her proposal for the person that she's asking is Cal Sutherland. I'm going to get some details about Cal from Cal, but she, the, but he didn't know it's for him. So yeah, I just found out that he likes video games, Skittles right now, gummy bears, and he works at a pizza place. Now I'll pass it over to Sarah so she can make the actual poster. Okay guys, so this is me making my poster. So I started out by outlining the drawing in black and then making pink paint for the background and then somehow it all got painted so then i put hot pink in between the two black lines all around the board i did some clouds and these little creatures and pretty much all i did after that was just outline it and add some more color <laughs> Okay, so we have two bags of original Skittles, Lifesaver gummies, gummy bears. This is the poster, and she did this all by herself. I'm an artist, book me. No crypto coin either, Thank cash. You. We're getting ready to drive Cal's house. Oh my God, it's a jack. Oh. So we just got done um, prom posing to Cal. Well, he said yes. Hooray! If you're going to prom, see you this weekend. And if not, maybe you'll go next time. And then if not, that kind of sucks to be you. I don't really know what else to tell you. Have a good day. Brave Speed is definitely qualified to play matchmaker, so come to us for any help. You can find us at prom this Saturday from 8 to 10 at Kenwood Country Club. The Indian Hill Valorant eSports team advances. They defeated Kings High School 14 to 12 and 13 to 11. Indian Hill Valorant are regional runner-ups, but are state bound. They bet you they had a blast. Hi, I'm Emily. And I'm Elizabeth. Harry and Brian have a good final sports report for us. Let's throw it over. Hello Braves and get ready for yet another episode of Sports Report. I'm Brian Gia and this will be my final appearance as a senior on Braves Beat. I'm Harry Strauss and this will be my last time on set too. Anyways, let's get right into this week's sports. We had a great run with some fantastic games. Let's start with last Thursday. Baseball scored a big win against Deer Park with the boys in lacrosse running a close victory over Wyoming. Friday had the girls and boys track and field teams participating in the Mason Invitational. In boys tennis, we defeated CHCA. JV baseball won against Seven Hills with a landslide 20-3 victory. Girls lacrosse had a great game, winning against CHCA. The baseball team emerged victorious as well. Monday saw the boys tennis team defeat Walnut Hills, with JV winning a clean sweep. Our baseball team also became CHL champions after their victory over Reading. The JV baseball team followed suit, winning another clean sweep. And at last, on Tuesday, the boys' tennis team participated in the OHSAA sectional tournament. The JV tennis team won against Turpin, and girls lacrosse won against Sycamore. All right, that wraps up sports for this week. Congratulations to all teams on their performances, and good luck in the upcoming games. Let's toss it back to our seniors at the news desk. Wow, 
Can't believe that was our last part support ever from the class of 2023. Glad it was a good one. This week is Teacher Appreciation Week in the United States. Schools are holding events to show gratitude for the hard work and dedication of their teachers who have faced many challenges during the COVID-19 pandemic. I know. This week is a chance to recognize the important role teachers play in shaping the future generation. Where's Elizabeth? Hi everyone, I'm the world's tallest leprechaun. And I'm Miles. As everyone knows, our seniors are leaving to go off to do their senior projects. So let's see what they're doing. Hey Braves, I'm Emily Ecker. Let's go check out what our seniors are doing for their senior projects. Self-defense. Learning ASL. Backpacking in Grayson Highlands State Park. Revamping a dog park. Learning, Learning how, how to, to cook. cook. We're researching how senses affect tasting food. I'm making a documentary on my trip to Poland and Israel. I'm going to a farm in Asheville, North Carolina to learn about regenerative agriculture and organic farming. Thank you. Thanks, Emily, and good luck to all our seniors. Be sure to see senior project presentations on May 24th from 5 to 6.30 p.m. Jacob and Harry asked our seniors about their high school experience. Oh, okay. Um, my Jump high school, right into it. Okay, okay. My high school experience has been great. I've made a lot of good friends, including Sydney. Um, but honestly, I'm really glad it's over. Yeah. <laughs> um, I really need to go to college. Yeah. But yeah, so far, so good. Great. I had so much fun in high school. I made like the best friends I've ever had, and I think. I just had a great experience at Indian Hill and I've learned so much and I'm so excited for everything after. Awesome. Thank you. That's your high school experience. Um, it was alright. Uh, it was just COVID, so I was inside most of the time, but other than that, it was alright. Nice. Thanks. Chaotic. Chaotic. Yeah, I hate her. Should we just go? <laughs> yeah. We've had such a great time here at Indian Hill High School. Um, I'm really sad that I'm leaving, but I think there's great things ahead. Oh. Hey. Uh, just tell us about your high school experience. Okay. Um, a lot of fun. Okay. Awesome. Uh, I've had a great experience here at Indian Hill High School. I love all the teachers I've had. I love all the friends, people I've met, and I've had a great time. Who's your favorite teacher? Mr. Piergowski. <laughs> We hope that everyone has fun in high school and puts forth their best efforts. Hey Braves, I'm Hannah. And I'm Sarah. In the Hill High School junior Ishan Gandhi is a published researcher, corporate achiever, and co-founder of a nonprofit supporting the arts. Gandhi credits his success to his high school courses and supportive educators. He shared his journey and advice in a recent Q&A session. Wow, what an impressive guy. Congratulations to our DECA Emerging Leaders pictured here. The Emerging Leader Award is to recognize graduating DECA members who studied marketing, finance, business, and management. Also, for being academically prepared, community-oriented, professionally responsible, and an experienced leader throughout participation in DECA. Congrats to everyone pictured, including myself. Indian Hill School celebrated students who are planning for futures in the arts and military during third annual Arts and Military Signing Ceremony on Wednesday, May 10th. Twelve students preparing for studies within the arts and military took center stage at the Indian Hill High School Auditorium with friends and family and the audience cheering them on. Time to check out the Super Braves list. Let's go! Congratulations to all people who earned a Super Brave! But now for the Super Brave winner! Drum, Drum roll, roll please! And the winner is... Sophia, Sophia Chen. Chen! Great job! We got a short snippet from our seniors, dressed like your freshman self day. Let's look. Hey Braves, in honor of the second day of Spirit Week, we're gonna go around asking people how they're dressed as their freshman self. All right, All right. so for my shorts, I got the really short shorts with the neon, and then I just found a shirt that I haven't worn in a while. So you can see Hannah's wearing her freshman what? self. I got my freshman year sweatshirt that I wore every day on. Got my side part going. My true lacrosse shorts. So I got the trusty old powder puff freshman year t-shirt, Lululemon skirt, and then some New Balances. Sweatshirt on, got some Lululemon shorts on, some arms on. <laughs> um, my side part, this tie-dye shirt that I wear every day, my black Lululemon shorts, and my New Balances. Um, this is my shirt that I wore so much that Abby told me to stop wearing. Uh, so I used to wear my hair like this every day. I stole this with one of my friends. I wear my hair like this every day. The soccer shirt. 
because I love tall hair, black shorts, because it goes with everything. Wow, we sure have come a long way. Yeah. Okay, so this is myself, Reese. We forgot to introduce ourselves originally, so we're doing it now. And I'm Chloe, I guess. Yeah, we know Chloe. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Okay. I'm not going to miss this sass. Well, that's, well, that's all, all, folks. Be sure to follow us on Twitter. Subscribe to us on YouTube. And email the Lady School update. And, and remember, remember to always stay, stay classy, Indian Hill. Indian Hill. Yeah. Woo. Wait, clink, clink, clink. Pow. <laughs> Chloe and I, we are going to be asking our seniors about the, su se the senior superlatives. Let's go. According to Coach King, it is actually super superlative. Crazy. How is she getting these degrees from China, <laughs> Russia, Cincinnati, in and Hill, Dubai, and she don't know what she's talking about? I remember them being called superlatives. I don't know what y'all talking about. <laughs> in the Hill lingo. Why is the eye of that camera moving so much? <laughs> jiggling. Music. Look at it. Just jiggling around. Look. Do I look good? Do I look good? You look good, Chris. Look good. <laughs> All right, y'all. Who's most likely to be a soccer mom? You. Why not? What? What? Say Chloe. Honda minivan. No. I see me dropping off some food and moving on. I feel like I would. Who is the best dressed out of all the seniors? Uh, Lila. The one who's going to Miami. Loud. Who is most likely to never change? Like they're always going to be the same. Yeah. Probably Kyle and this. Uh, <laughs> Ella Santini. Okay, today I'm asking you, who in the senior class is most likely to end up having eight kids? Molly Me. Judson. <laughs> <laughs> Say it again. Out of the senior class, who's most likely to become a SoundCloud rapper? Marco Petrovic. Out of the senior class, is most likely to become a professional Twitch streamer and make money off of it? Very fresh. What makes you say that? Okay. Yeah. It's all a matter of opinion. Who has been wearing the same exact thing since freshman year? There's plenty. Let me think. Honestly, I'm going to brainstorm with you on this. This is not a bad thing. This is just consistency. Consistency is good. Daniel Chen. Yup. Joy Han. Yup. Alex Rosakis. Yup. Jackson Ravenhall. Yeah. Everybody. Everybody in this room. All the teachers. They need, All to, the teachers. They need to change it up. Yeah. They need a lickety split. Huh? Yeah. Yup. 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 Most likely to run and jump and hit something. 